Hello, I'm Kevin Rimmers Music. I'm going to show you this today. So this is an Epiphone Casino. Beautiful guitar. It's in vintage Sunburst, this one. So you might recognise it from uh, the Beatles. Mr John Lennon uh, played one. It's in this, this new documentary they've done, the Get Back. He uh, famously sanded his down, so it was just a natural wood colour. But pretty much the same guitar, the same pickups. It's a beautiful guitar. It's very, uh, very distinctive sound because of the pickups and the wood, the combination of wood. It's got this body has got five ply maple with a base wood top, and the neck is mahogany with a fingerboard of Poe Ferro. Now Poe Ferro is very similar to rosewood. I can't tell the difference. Very, it looks the same and it feels the same as well. So that combination plus the output through these uh, pickups will give you a very distinctive Epiphone Casino tone. Uh, I've read recently that John Lennon used these on uh, every Beatles recording. How true that is, I don't know, but it, it certainly is a, a wonderful guitar for recording in the studio as it is playing live as well. Uh, so this, this one, it will be this one, there will be a link to buy it in, uh, in the bio. It's a customer return. Now, it's in absolutely perfect condition. Still got the film on the, the scratch plate. It's just coming away slightly. But uh, the reason for return was there's two little, like, I won't even call them blemishes, the tiny little dots on the, uh, the fifth fret. So I'll just hold it up to the camera there. There you go, can you see? So there's one there one there very very small uh, some other note as they say they're not indentations I'm not really sure what they are because they're scrubbing away at them and, and they won't come off uh, but yeah other than that it's in fantastic perfect condition sounds really good and it's a good all-rounder as well this guitar uh, a lot of people might think, oh, it's just a, an indie guitar or a pop guitar. No, no, no. It plays uh, really well, both on clean, strumming, picking, and on overdrive as well. Even uh, for heavy metal as well, you might not think so. It might not look like an heavy metal guitar. But you can play uh, good old rock music on this as well. So, yeah, I'll just... Uh, I'll play you a few bits. Uh, let's try to think if there's anything I've not told you. Oh, yeah. We've got vintage tuners, as you can see there. I try to stay stay true to the original 60s one. And this tailpiece as well. That's a trapeze tailpiece, tip, ah, tailpiece and bridge. All right, so, yeah. I'll just uh, run you through the pickups as well. So you've got a pickup selector with a volume and tone, volume, tone, volume, tone, for each pickup. So when it's up, it's the neck pickup. When it's down, it's the bridge pickup. As per all electric guitars, it's warmer and richer towards the neck. It's thinner and brighter towards the bridge. You can also have it in the middle, so you've got a mix of both. I personally prefer uh, the neck pickup. I do on most guitars. It's just my personal preference. So what I'm playing now, I'll keep it on in the uh, neck position. Uh, I'll play some bits on clean, and then I'll put the overdrive on and play some bits uh, on that as well. All right. Cheers.
pop from them uh, them P90s. Only P90s do that. <laughs> So yeah, I'll just pop it on overdrive, do you a bit on uh, with a heavier sound, all right. <laughs> Casino one off. The link to buy this very guitar will be in the bio of this video. Uh, check us out on uh, rimmersmusic.co.uk. Uh, I've been Kev. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>